Hey guys, welcome to the video. So in honor of being in my first Ryan home for 11 months now, I really want to talk about the upgrades. Specifically, what's worth getting and what's not worth getting. Just a little background, I originally wanted the Strauss model, um, but it was way out of my price range and I did kind of go overboard with the upgrades. So we didn't go with the Strauss. And after not getting the Strauss, I was over it because by that time it was three years and three tries and I was just done trying to get, trying to get a ride home. But my, my sales rep, Laura, convinced us to try again. She's like, please, please just try again. We really want to get you in. So we ended up going with the Mozart model. I was just over it, like I said. So we went with the Mozart model and I really didn't pay attention to all the upgrades I selected. That's my bad. I honestly didn't think I was going to get both, but I did. So here's the layout. Three level. So with that being said, I didn't go with all the upgrades I wanted. I should have because we had a discount. It was like 30k off upgrades or something. And I should have went with what I'm circling here. The optional owner's bathroom. It would have just made the closet smaller instead of longer. Because my closet is longer instead of smaller. So, definitely get that option if you can. If you guys look at my previous video, you can see the difference in my bathroom. And then go back to the model video of the Mozart on my channel and see the upgraded bathroom. The upgraded bathroom is so much better because it does have that long seat. And the shower is, it's bigger. It's much bigger. Now, on the main level, I did go ahead and upgrade the open area to add the study. So the double doors, closing that off, making it its own room, as you can see where I circled. And I'm so glad I did this option because if you go, again, if you go back to the model video on my page, you'll see when you walk into the house, it's just open to a room and it's not closed off. And another thing I regret <laughs> on the main floor, sorry, the, the I'll say the basement level so we don't get confused. On the basement level, I did not get the optional half bath and I should have, I should have. I think it was another 1,500, something like that. But instead we have the extra closet and I do love the extra space, but that bathroom downstairs Having that would have raised my market value and it also would have made things easier for my business. So it would have been a bathroom for clients. Here's all the selections for the bathroom, interior selections, mechanical selections, and electrical selections. It was pretty hard trying to pick the ports for the house because you can't really see it and you can't really tell how everything's going to be organizing your home so there are some ports <laughs> that are in weird areas for me something else you should know your sales rep is going to try to get you to put on as many upgrades as you can because that helps out their bonus check of course they're trying to sell you something now i did go with these light packages i just circled it here i don't like these lights and what they what my sales rep didn't tell me was either you can have the port lights and if you have the port lights, you can't have the um, you can't have the light fixtures. So you can't have the chandelier. And when you're looking through it, it'll say optional. But when I selected it, I thought it was all included. I would, maybe I was stressed out. I didn't think I was getting this house. So we got the port lights, which were extra. And you can also see under that the, the light package, which is also the port lights so my house is just filled with those lights and there's no hanging fixtures i wanted the chandelier um at the entry door and i wanted the oh the chandeliers over the island and in the dining room so we didn't get that because we got these port lights and that cancels out the additional light fixtures and when i tell you i was so upset i am still upset to this day because now I'll have to buy my light fixtures and hang them. 
Um, but I do have a handyman who's an electrician. So that's going to just have to be a later on project. But had I known that, I wouldn't have got those lights. And I honestly feel like it's a waste of money because I do not like them at all. Here, I blocked out our names and address, of course, for obvious reasons. But we did go with the Maywood, and I'll picture it on the next slide. And that included, this package was the most expensive one. It has the real hardwood floor, so not laminate. The upgraded plush carpet. So our carpet has like extra padding, and then it's spill proof. Well, stain proof so if you drop liquid on it it won't absorb in the carpet it'll just sit on top wipe it off clean easy the upgraded tiles in the bathroom the upgraded backsplash everything and then for the sonoma painted linen that's the color of the cabinets i got the all white all clean cabinets i didn't upgrade the knobs um i think the upgraded knobs were like 400 bucks but we didn't get that. And I, I can't say I do like the knobs. They're nice. They're cool. And so here. Here's the Sonoma. So these are my cabinets. As you guys seen. And again I did also upgrade the stove as well. And the knobs you see are the ones that we have. Also that is the upgraded touch sink. And this of course is different from my kitchen. Because I would love to have the wall oven. Oh! That would be amazing, but that's okay. <laughs> and we didn't, we actually went with the double sink instead of the single kitchen sink. I didn't even pay attention to that. And I'm still kind of hurt about it, but it's okay. It is what it is. And then in the next slide, I'll show you the Maywood. So here's the Maywood. That's my floors. The cabinetry, as you saw on the previous slide. The sparkle countertops the quartz and like the the bathroom floors are there too so this is the maywood it's the most expensive package that they had and here so we did get for the appliances we did upgrade to the gas stove i highly re recommend doing that because the stove is amazing and we got the, I think there were two different gas stoves. You guys will see later on in the video. But we got the one that has the griddle in the middle. Oh, chef's kiss. It's amazing. And the Mission Lania. So again, for the study, it was 19, well, pretty much 2K. And for the faucet, I got the touch faucet, which was 175. Not too bad. The under the cabinet package, um, which is the under the cabinet lights which is great because I didn't want to have to pay the install or get like those little pocket lights I just wanted it all done and the kitchen upgrade that includes the pull-out shelves in the cabinets as well as the silent clothes cabinets and like we have a little drawer as you see in my previous video it pulls out under the sink where you can store everything so it's really, I really love that I got that package because I didn't want to install that myself. And it also comes in with the built-in trash. So instead of us having another cabinet, we have the drawer trash, which is, oh, chef's kiss. And as you can see where it says the towel wall backsplash upgrade for 450, we weren't able to see what that was. But pretty much it was just the all gray backsplash. And... I don't, I don't even know why I got that. I thought it was going to be like the mosaic tile or something. It wasn't. So I would say you don't have to get that. You can go with the standard tile. If I could go back, I would probably take that off. And here, this is the most important upgrade. Under interior selections, the oak stair base plate metal bolsters. I already say it. So essentially our stairs are oak. And I'm just glad they were stained to match the floor. They're still, it's like a tad bit off to me, but much better than what it was and how we saw it. So this is an upgrade because it made all of the stairs hardwood. Essentially, the stairs would be carpet. I don't like carpet stairs. I'm 100% against them. No, thank you, babe. 
I do regret not making the living room, letting the hardwood run all the way through. I should have done that. I didn't. I know it was a bit pricey, so I just opted out. I'd still love the carpet. The carpet's beautiful. It's great. Um, but I would have just loved that sleek hardwood look. I can't remember the other options for the stairs. I know they had like darker stains, but I just didn't want the stain of the wood to not match the stain of the wood throughout the house. So like I didn't want, I think one was espresso. So I didn't want espresso wood and then my brown floors. You, you see what I'm saying? And also the normal railing, it's like a white rail. And I just felt like that black railing, ah, oh, chef's kiss. So you can look at my most recent house tour and then go back to the model tour and you can see the difference of what I'm talking about. And I feel like it just, that black just gave it a little bit of like a, a, a goth edge, which is so mean. Now, here's another regret of mine. We did go with Elevation K my name starts with okay but i should have trusted myself and went with my middle initial which is l i love l so much better because it has the bay window so that's more square footage and that option i think it's like 20 or 30 square feet bigger or maybe more but i was just playing it really on the safe side and elevation l is typically an in unit um uh, so or yeah, like it's like an in unit, I believe. Again, like I said, I wasn't being too picky because I honestly thought I wasn't getting the house. So I was like, whatever. I'll just take whatever. I really don't care. Um, but for my next house, it'll definitely be my next townhouse. It'll definitely be more like an elevation L because that look is just mwah, chef's kiss. And another thing I really wanted was the red house. Like instead of this blue navy, it would have been red. Oh, love the red, but I love the blue beautiful so typically with the sections you don't really have the option of which color you can choose so you can't choose the color of your house it goes by the section i'm just gonna say section or row of houses so row one blue row two row three so if you choose row three you're gonna have a blue house rows two you have a pink house row two you know what i mean so i again i didn't really care i was like i don't even know if i'm gonna get it i'll take it whatever now, here are the upgrades for the appliances. I believe that first one is an electric stove. Sorry guys, I can't see. Yes, so you can choose electric or gas stove and the gas stove has that upgrade, the griddle in the middle. <laughs> and then you get the standard microwave and the standard dishwasher. Not standard, they're, they're very nice, you know what I mean? There's no second option. There were only two options for fridges, I believe, the two middle ones. I chose the second one because it's just me and my mom. She did want the, the third option, but I'm like, eh, we don't need all that fridge space. And the fridge is pretty big and bulky and I didn't want it to take up too much space. So I'm very happy that I did go with that one. It's cheaper. So yeah. And then you have the option of the gas or electric dryer. And we went with the electric dryer just because we were a little paranoid and my mom never had a gas dryer. And I, you know, I, we just went with the norm, the electric dryer. But like I said, we did get the gas stove. We're used to gas stoves. And they're great for if emergencies happen, you can still use the stove. And gas stoves just cook better. And in this next slide, I'm just showing you the other options for upgrades. Like the black cabinets and all that. That still has the upgraded carpet. That's the one my mom wanted. And I was like, eh. Nah. and this is the one that we got i just feel like the cabinets are more sleek there's the grant i haven't seen many people get this one but that's the one that was in the model home and that concludes the video so if you guys have any questions just let me know feel free but definitely watch this before you go under contract with your home so you know what to get and what to avoid and i'll probably insert week 10 of building just so you guys can see that again and i'll probably go back through and re-upload a full video of all the weeks of construction just so you can see the ins and outs of everything because i feel like it was so hard to like find a video on all the construction weeks and i hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you're buying a ryan home 
How's it going guys? Jordan with Ryan Holmes here with your weekly video update. I have got quite a bit to update you on. Uh, so it's been a little while since I sent you an update, but uh, I'm just going to get through the garage here. You see our flooring here. We're going to get our flooring today. Just kind of walking in, we have our second paint um, completed in the house. We, we are missing a couple trim pieces and you saw that um, the French door has not been installed yet, um, but we'll get all this kind of finished up. They had to do some drywall work here um, to move this wall. It actually, the gap actually wasn't wide enough for the door, so we had to adjust that. But uh, kind of coming in here, you see the nice closet here. Our, our shelving was completed yesterday, which is fantastic. I'll show you here as well. Um, we did get our first trim done, so all our Handrails, posts, um, you know, baseboard, all that stuff got installed. And these guys are here doing the prep for your flooring right now, putting some glue down. To kind of show you the kitchen here. We did get our appliances delivered yesterday. So dishwasher, uh, there's your range right there. And then your microwave obviously got installed. Um, you can see here, nice beautiful cabinets. Countertops got installed as well. Bathroom. Coming upstairs here. Um, they are going to finish up your landings today as well. We got our master here. Beautiful tray ceiling. Um, we do have our plum final, which is kind of the first of the finals that we do. Um, slated for early next week. Um, should be about Tuesday. Um, they're doing the C unit on uh, Monday. So sometimes they can do two in one day, but it depends on the crew. Um, but here we obviously got our um, bathroom here. They did finish up the tile yesterday. Um, came out fantastic. You see nice countertops as well. Right, and here we've got can't really see, I apologize, it's pretty dark. We got our tile surround completed in here along with the floor. Laundry room. And then we've got, obviously, bedroom number two here. And then bedroom number three. That's really all I have, guys. I just kind of wanted to show you around the house. Um, let you know where we're at. We've got a lot coming up next week. It's gonna be very busy with um, all our final trades coming through Getting uh, things like carpet in the home uh, That's when you're gonna really see it start to come together. Um, so I look forward to next week's update But I hope you guys are doing well. Please let me know if you have any questions and I hope you have a great day Hey guys, Jordan the Ron Holmes here with your weekly video update. Uh, got a lot going on this week uh, We should have our second trim done and this door is put back um, at some point today um, so all our handles, locks, all that good stuff should be installed. Kind of show you out here real quick. We've got stone going on. They're working there. We do have siding completed on the front of this unit. Um, we have had what's called our first clean uh, completed um, on the home. So it's just they kind of pick up the bigger, bulky stuff, get it cleaned out, um, and we'll have our final clean. Uh, sometimes by the middle of next week. Uh, we did have our carpets installed. We do need to fix this nosing. Um, just want to point that out. But it's really coming along. Also, all of our appliances have been delivered. Um, we are waiting on our electrical final. The electricians are a little bit behind. I'm hoping by the beginning to middle of next week. I know we got the fourth kind of on Tuesday messing things up a little bit for us. But um, getting that completed next week and then uh, we're gonna be rocking and rolling and uh, start working on punch and finishing things here. But uh, here's the master, you can see my lovely GE appliance guys did not uh, put the washer dryer inside the laundry room, but that's all right. We also have our frame shower door here, got installed yesterday. The hall bath again, not too much has changed in here. 
laundry room. Uh, they didn't feel like moving the material. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Bedroom number two. And then bedroom number three. That's really all I have for you guys this week. Um, a lot going on uh, in these finishing stages, but uh, we're getting there slowly but surely. Uh, but I hope you guys are doing very well. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Hope you have a great 4th of July weekend. Bye.